Hello guys, this is Amos Doll Music and in today's lesson I'm going to teach you how to play Leibestrom by Franz Liszt, okay? It's also known as Love Dreams. I'll be teaching you how to play the first section of the song, it's very beautiful. Give you a preview before we start learning it, it goes like this, check it out. So let's go. So we're going to break it up into uh, one, two, three, four, five, six parts. So it's easier to learn. Okay. So here we go. First part goes like this. All right. So we'll break it up to like uh, note by note and hand by hand. Okay. So it's like we'll do like right hand and a left hand and place it together and stuff. Okay. So here we go. First part, the right hand goes like this. Okay. Goes on the C right here at the middle C up to E flat, A flat, C, A flat. E flat and then E flat A flat C A flat E flat and then C up to E up to B flat C B flat E and then yeah and then E B flat C B flat E that's it for the right hand for the first part okay so one more time it goes like this so it goes C E flat A flat higher C A flat E flat E flat, A flat, C, A flat, E flat, and then back up to C, E, B flat, higher C, B flat, E, E, B flat, C, B flat, E. Those are the notes for the first part for the right hand, okay? Left hand is what we have, okay? So, left hand starts on the E flat, below middle C, down to A flat, and then up to the middle C, and then down more than octave down to the G. And then back up to middle C again. That's it for the left hand. So the left hand is more easier than the right hand, okay? Less notes to like focus on. One more time, it goes E flat down to A flat, up to the middle C, back down to the low G, back up to the middle C. That's it. Two hands together goes like this. So left hand starts, and then it goes together, and then left, and then together. B flat and C together, like that. One more time, okay, let's do it again. So it goes like this, together, here, together, together, like that. That's it for the first part. Now, moving on to the second part now. Uh, the right hand goes like this. Uh, let me see, okay, so, da, 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 da. okay, so it goes C, E flat, A, C, A, E flat, and then it goes D flat, and then it goes E flat, A, C, A, E flat, and then it goes C, D, A flat, up to C, A flat, D, D, A flat, C, A flat, D. That's it for the right hand for the second part. Let's do it again. So it goes like this. It goes C, E flat, A, C, A, E flat, and then D flat, E flat, A, C, A, E flat, and then C, D, A flat, C, A flat, D, D, A flat, C, A flat, D. That's it for the second part for the right hand. So you can see right hand a lot of times is like a repeating like motive always. Like it's always like do 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 like that. It's like five note motive that kind of repeats throughout the way. Okay, that's the right hand anyway for the second part. Left hand is what we have. So starting on the low F, and then up to the middle C, and then it goes C again, and then it goes down to the very low B flat right here, and then up to the F. F again. That's it for the left hand. One more time. So low F, up to middle C, middle C again, down to the very low B flat, up to F, and then F again. Two hands together goes like this. So it goes together, together, 
チケダーチケダーチケダーヒアチケダー That's it for the second part One more time it goes like this it goes チケダーチケダーチケダーチケダーヒアチケダー Like that. Moving on now to the third part. Okay, third part continues like this. It goes D flat, E flat, up to C, E flat, D flat, D flat, E flat, G, E flat, D flat, C, E flat, up to A flat, E flat, C, down to A flat, C, up to A flat, down to E flat, down to A flat. That's it for the right hand. Okay, one more time for this third part. For the right hand, it goes D flat, E flat, C, E flat, D flat, D flat, E flat, G, E flat, D flat, C, E flat, A flat, E flat, C, down to A flat, C, up to the A flat, down to E flat, down to A flat. That's it for the right hand. Left hand is what we have. Okay, the left hand goes.、Um, okay, this is like a difficult for some of you guys who have a smaller hand. You need to roll it from the E flat to the F double note. So you roll it, and then G, A flat, and then roll the E flat to C, which is easy. And then B flat, and then A flat octave, and then down octave below to the low A flat, and then up to the higher E flat. Like that. So, a lot of jumping around for the left hand. So, this third part left hand would be the harder left hand part. Okay, one more time. It goes like this. So, roll E flat F, double note, G, A flat, and then E flat C, and then B flat, and then A flat octave, and then octave below A flat, and then more than an octave up to the E flat here. Like that.、And、that's it for the left hand. Two hands together goes like this. So, it just goes here, and then right hand continues. E flat and the G together. E flat and A flat together, and then the E flat C double note on the left hand by itself. Right continues. E flat and B flat together, and then A flat by itself. Right continues, and then A flat by itself, and then E flat and E flat together, like that. So this third part is quite a lot more complicated because more stuff happening. Okay, one more time. So it goes like this. So it goes here, together, together, here, together, here. Yeah, together like that. All right. So moving on. Okay. Okay. This fourth part is actually pretty similar to the first part. The only difference is just one extra、uh, note on the left hand. Okay. And well, not not just one extra note. Okay. Just a few extra things that you need to worry about. Okay. So actually, let's just let's just learn it. Okay, no point of doing it. But the, I'm just telling you, the fourth part here is really similar to the first part. So right hand starts on the E flat, A flat C, A flat E flat C, E flat A flat C, A flat E flat C, E B flat C, B flat E, E B flat C, B flat E. That's it for the right hand. So can you see it's really similar to the first part for the right hand here? So yeah. Anyways, two hands. Oh no, not two hands together. One more time for the right hand. So it goes E flat, A flat, C, A flat, E flat, E flat, A flat, C, A flat, E flat, and then E B flat, C, B flat, E, E B flat, C, B flat, E. That's it for the right hand. Okay. So yeah. Let me just double check one more time. Okay. So yeah, it just firstly goes like this, and then. Let me see. Du, 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 du. Okay, actually, well, some of the notes、uh, we need to press the C note sometimes with the right hand. Okay, so let's just scrap that. Let's do it again. So this fourth part goes like this. Okay, now listen very carefully. This is how you do it. So E flat, A flat, C, A flat, E flat, and then down to C here, and then E flat, A flat, C, A flat, E flat, and then once again we do C, E, B flat, C, B flat, E. E B flat C B flat E. Okay, that's the correct one. Okay, so let's do it one last time just to confirm this. Okay, so it goes like this: E flat A flat C E A flat E flat down to C E flat A flat C A flat E flat and then C 
E, B flat, C, B flat, E, E, B flat, C, B flat, E. Okay, so that's the right hand for this fourth part, confirmed. Okay, so practice this. Okay, that's the right hand. Left hand, okay, goes like this. We roll the note, it's a tenth note. This is a pretty difficult like jump if you have small hands. So it goes A flat to the middle C, so it goes like that. And then down to the G, and then G flat, and then back up to middle C, like that. And that's it, one more time, it goes like this. It goes A flat, C, roll. And then down to G, G flat, middle C. That's it, turn together, goes like this. So it just goes, left turn starts off, right continues. C and G together. And then G flat by itself. B flat and C together, like that. One more time, it goes like this, it goes here. Together, here, together. That's it for the fourth part. Okay, now moving on to the fifth part. Okay, fifth part continues like this. Goes C, E flat, A, C, A, E flat, E flat, F, C, A, E flat. And then it goes uh, D, A flat up to the high F, C, A flat down octave below A flat B flat F D B flat yeah so this um, fifth part is a little bit harder in terms of the right hand it's very jumpy and not as many repeating patterns one more time it goes like this it goes C E flat A C A E flat E flat F C A E flat D A flat up to the higher F C A flat down to the octave below A flat B flat F D B flat that's it for the right hand Left hand is what we have, so we have low F, and then up to the middle C, and then we have a triple note uh, roll here, which is F, A, D flat, like that, and then down to C, and then we have this big jump, it's a roll from the low B flat up to the high F here, well not high F, so it's like an like uh, octave, it's like a 12 jump, like that, and then all the way down to the low B flat, and then all the way up to this F here. Like that, it's so quite jumpy for the left hand, so it's not an easy task to do for the left hand here for this fifth part as well. Anyway, one more time, it goes low F, middle C, and then triple note roll, F, A, D flat, and then C, and then down more than an octave to the B flat, up to, uh, roll up to the F, and then we have the very low B flat, and then a 12th above F, that's it for the left hand. Two ends together goes like this, so it just goes together, together, here. And then it just goes like that. Here. Together. Like that. Okay, that's it for the fifth part. One more time. It goes together. Together. Here. Together. And then here. Here. Together. Like that. So you just got to practice it a few times to make sure all the jumps are very accurate. Something like that, when you hit the wrong note, then you just do it again. Yeah, because these big jumps, it's easy to hit the wrong notes. So you're just gonna practice these jumps because especially the first note starting on a black note, it's hard to kind of like picture sometimes. So you're just gonna keep jumping and practicing that accuracy. Just like that, so that's what you need to do, okay? Okay, anyways, moving on to the sixth and last part. Uh, continues like this, right hand goes B flat, D flat, G, E flat, D flat, D flat, E flat, G, E flat, D flat, C, A flat, A flat, E flat, C, C, A flat, E flat, C, A flat. That's it for the right hand. One more time, it goes like this, it goes B flat, D flat, G, E flat, D flat, D flat, E flat, G, E flat, D flat, C, E flat, A flat, E flat, C, C, A flat, E flat, C, A flat. That's it for the right hand. Left hand this is what we have. So we roll from the E flat up to F. It's essentially similar to the uh, third part. Remember the third part, left hand? It's really similar, okay? Goes up to G, A flat, and then the A, E flat, C, double note, B flat, and then the octave A flat, and then down to the low A flat. Yeah, so pretty much it's the same, except that for the fact it doesn't have the extra E flat at the end, okay? So the same left hand for this sixth part compared to the third part, with exception doesn't have that final note of E flat. So that's something for you to take note of, because it's the same, okay? So you can save time like this. So it's the roll E flat F, G, A flat, E flat, C, B flat, A flat octave, down octave below A flat. Okay, 
hope you can see that pattern. Okay, you save some time if you know that. Two hands together for the six part goes like this. Just goes here, together, together, here, together, here, here. Like that. One more time. It goes here, together, together, here, together, here, here. Like that. And that's it for the sixth part. So back to back, all sixth part we've learned in this lesson will be recapped and played back to back like this. Check it out. beautiful okay so as you can see I played it with more expression and also something else that you kind of notice is that I emphasize the melody okay another trick is after you get all the notes right okay then you start to like kind of like work on bringing out the melody the melody is is actually quite hard because for a beginner the melody is actually going between both hands the both hands are actually playing the melody uh, in some of the parts so some of the parts you have to make louder and some of the fingers you have to make softer for example the melody is this do, 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 F, 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 G, A flat, C, B flat, A flat, etc. So that's the melody, and you can see that melody is actually interweaved between, between both left and right hands. So you have to really focus on sometimes like making the left hand louder and then the right hand louder and the other parts softer. So most obvious thing to make softer is the arpeggios on the da 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 always like the five notes a compliment da 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 those are like supposed to be the softer so it's more like squeeze squeeze and then soft squeeze soft 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 squeeze soft 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 squeeze soft 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 like that Etc. Okay, so yeah, it's not as easy to actually play this piece uh, the most expressive way and proper way as possible. Uh, but like, if you just know the notes, it doesn't mean anything. You have to like really focus on like squeezing out the melody, bring out the melody, bring more expression with the rubato, and then yeah. Um, yeah, keeping the uh, accompaniment soft as well, okay? So yeah, it's a lot of fun, these type of classical pieces, because there's a lot to it, okay? A lot more than just like, just the melody and stuff, okay? But anyways, that's pretty much it. So I hope you enjoyed this lesson. If you did, make sure to check out the rest, the rest of my channel, because literally, I have multiple thousands and thousands and thousands of these videos for you to enjoy and learn from. So most likely, you can find your favorite song to learn on my channel. Anyway, also check out my website, bestpianomethod.com, linked in the description below if you want to learn more piano from me, learn how to play by ear, improvise, read sheet music, and a lot of other cool stuff. So make sure to check it out. Enjoy your time around my channel and see you next time. Tell me in the comments what you want me to cover or teach next, or use my services to guarantee a priority custom song request. For more information on all my other piano mastery courses, sheet music, and books, check out the links in the description or visit my website bestpianomethod.com.